Hey everyone, Mr. Gazinski here, working through section Q of IXL's 8th grade math skills. Dilations today for the first time, we're going to graph images. So dilations are um, enlargements or reductions of an object proportionally. Um, and a dilation is always done with a scale factor, and in this one we're going to do a scale factor of 2. That means every point on the object, and I do mean every point, um, is going to have this performed onto it. You can multiply the x value by 2 and the y value by 2 and that'll be its new location after that dilation with a scale factor of 2. So if we look at a point like L, L is currently at negative 4, negative 1. You just multiply both those values by 2 and it'll be at negative 8, negative 2. So this is where L prime would be. Alright, let's keep going. M is currently at negative 4, positive 4. Since we're doing a scale factor of 2, we just multiply each of those by 2, and it's going to be at negative 8, positive 8. So there's M prime. And one more. N is currently at 5, negative 3. And we just multiply both those values by 2, and it becomes 10 negative 6. So there's n prime. A couple of interesting things after a dilation. You'll see the corresponding sides are parallel to each other. So m prime n prime is parallel to m n and uh, m prime l prime is parallel to m l. Um, also Let's do this. If you run a line through the origin and the original vertex and the new vertex, they'll all be in a straight line. So that is a characteristic of a dilation. All right, now let's do a dilation by a scale factor of three. Okay, a dilation with a scale factor of three. So x, y is going to become 3x3y. So um, d, which is currently at negative 1, positive 3, we're going to multiply both of those by 3, and it becomes negative 3, positive 9. e is at negative, I'm sorry, positive 2, positive 3. You multiply both those that by 3 because it's a, being dilated by a scale factor of 3, and that becomes um, 6, 9. So there's E prime. And F, which is currently at 1, 2, when you multiply both of those by 3, ends up at 3, 6. So there's F prime. Let's connect those points to create our new shape. Um, and there's our new shape after the, um, after the dilation by a scale factor of three. All right, and again, if we connect the origin and run a line straight through the vertex to the new vertex, you'll see that they all fall in a straight line. Okay, now we'll move on to a dilation that's slightly different because this is going to be, instead of an enlargement, it's going to be a reduction. Okay, and I can tell that it's going to be a reduction because the scale, frac the scale factor is less than 1. It's a fraction here. Okay, so in this case, um, the, the old vertices, x, y, actually not just the vertices, all the points, but we usually concentrate on the vertices, are we going to become 1 3rd x, 1 3rd y. All right, so V, which is currently at negative 9, positive 6, is going to become 1 -third of negative 9, which is 3, and 1 -third of 6, which is 2. U is at 6, 6, 
So you take a third of each one of those values and it would be 2, 2. T is at 6, negative 6. Take a third of each one of those, that would be 2, negative 2. And S, which is currently at negative 9, negative 6. When you transform that by the dilation of scale factor of 1 third, sorry, negative 6, uh, it's going to end up at negative 3, negative 2. All right, so let's create our new image. ISL will actually create the image for you as you connect points. And there we go. Also, one last time here, I'll connect the corresponding vertices to the origin, and you'll see they all kind of radiate out from the origin. They all fall in a straight line. <clears throat> all right, let's do a scale factor of one half here. And we'll kind of do it without the points, I guess, even though the point rules are important. But these fall right on the y-axis, u and t do. So, I mean, half of zero is zero. We're doing a scale factor of one half. So half of six is three. And half of ten, negative ten is negative five. But over here, we've got, what do we got? We got negative four, negative eight. So we'll take half of negative four and half of negative eight. That would be negative two negative four, which would be right there. So let's connect those corresponding, or those vertices to create our new shape after a dilation of one half. One more, uh, one fourth, a scale factor of one fourth, that's our dilation, okay? So we're at negative eight, positive eight, eight and eight, that's divisible by four, it's negative two, positive two. And 8, 8 again, so 2, 2 again. Negative 8, negative 4, half of 8 is negative 4, half of 4 is negative 2. Something messed up. I don't want half, I want a fourth, that's why. So how about a fourth of 8 is 2, negative 2, and a fourth of negative 4 is negative 1. It didn't look right, did it? But we fixed it now. So this would be the new shape after a dilation from the origin by a scale factor of one-fourth. All right. So there we go. I uh, hope this helps. I'm sure it will. Um, let me know how it goes after you finish. Good luck.